Well, guys, I really like Kosovo. It's Kosovo's capital, Pristina. It's really nice. It's small, but it's good. I, I feel myself um, better here than in Belgrade. I don't know why, but I don't know. Here it feels nicer. So here I'm in the heart of the city. Today is Saturday, so it's very calm here. Everybody walking with friends. And uh, something very interesting about uh, this country is that there are Albanian flags almost everywhere because the majority of people here, they are ethnically Albanian. So this is really interesting. The United States was, if I'm not wrong, the first country to recognize Kosovo's independence. And the United States' uh, interest here in Kosovo is very big because, well, um, Kosovo is protected by the United States. On the other hand, Serbia is protected by Russia. And we have a very interesting monument here called a Newborn Monument. This is a contemporary monument commemorating Kosovo's declaration of independence from Serbia. So let's continue, guys, walking around. <clears throat> we have another monument here. Let's see what is this. I don't know. Looks nice. Newborn. this monument here so Eroinat this memorial is built by 20,145 meadows which symbolically honor the versatile contribution and sacrifice of every ethnic Albanian woman during the 1998-1999 war in Kosovo. At the same time, this memorial remembers the cruel crime of rape carried out by the Serbian forces during the last war against nearly 20,000 women, oh my god, by joining the contributions and sacrifices of all women, the huge portrait of the Kosovar heroine is shaped. The portrait reflects values of dignity, dedication, education, care, courage, and endurance. Yeah, it's very sad, like what they passed here in the past. But fortunately, nowadays there are better days. There are still tensions between Serbia and um, Kosovo. But yeah, people are trying to live their lives better. It was very easy to enter Kosovo yesterday, no problem at all. I took a bus at 4 p.m. and the bus arrived here in Kosovo by 10.30 10 p.m. more or less. The immigration was super smooth, super easy. I didn't need to get out of the bus. Actually, the bus driver just uh, picked up our passports and then the, the all um, driver gave the passports to the immigration officer and the officer just stamped our passports without any question at all so it was really easy and uh, yeah guys if you want to come here to Kosovo I recommend you to go first to Serbia and later on to Kosovo because the country it's not possible you may have problems coming here first to Kosovo and then going to Serbia because uh, uh, Serbia doesn't recognize Kosovo so yeah it's easier to arrive in Serbia first then later on you guys come to Kosovo and from Kosovo guys you can't return to Serbia but you, co you can easily take a bus and go to Macedonia or to Montenegro or you can take a flight and go to other country there are there is a there is an, an airport here in Pristina down in Pristina so yeah it's easy to fly from here to England for example or to other countries so let's go to cathedral of Saint Mother Teresa 
Mother Teresa is very famous here in the Balkans. ready almost the sunset this is mother teresa cathedral it's a very beautiful cathedral have here. here we have the national library of kosovo it's a very different building there are so many birds flying here 